Welcome to Monday's Market Outlook here at Wealth Creation Investing. Matthew Buckley, the Chief Investment Strategist here at WCI. And the, the biggest issues uh, on our radar this week, obviously, uh, earnings. About a quarter of uh, S&P 500 uh, companies are reporting earnings this week. Little company from Cupertino, California, reporting earnings today. Apple, obviously, all eyes are going to be on how Apple uh, does, but also the rest of uh, how the uh, S&P fares uh, and, and obviously the Dow components. But uh, more uh, on the S&P. Again, as we've talked about, yeah, maybe 60% are falling in, in line. Uh, some misses, some beats, but we all know the Wall Street game of the, uh, of the inline or the beats. If you can't hit the ball over the net, we simply lower the net. So corporate profits uh, might look pretty solid, but at the end of the day, we know by looking at macroeconomic data that they're squeezing the most out of their employees. Our average hourly uh, w wages are going down, if not stagnant. So corporate America, yeah, you know, you can say we're, we're, we're chugging along here, but obviously uh, some pretty significant bumps in the road. One of the main ones obviously being uh, this whole Obamacare train wreck. And it's, it, it, was, it was just pretty interesting seeing the Sunday talk shows and watching how two, three weeks ago, not a single Democrat would blink and give in to the evil uh, Republicans about their demands to uh, reform anything with Obamacare. And everybody went to the brink of uh, Armageddon here. And now that uh, the Republicans blinked, now we have these, uh, you know, Democrats who are up for re-election re year, recognizing that Obamacare is an absolute train wreck. The rollout's a failure. The individual mandate they're going to start fining people for not being able to sign up when you can't sign up. There's the government for you. So even now the Democrats are starting to crack uh, now that, uh, you know, the brinksmanship's over. So, uh, but that, that's another reason why corporate America is, is creeped out, just because of what's going on in Washington. The regulatory, this just stifling regulatory environment, uh, taxes, Obamacare, you name it. Uh, and that's also why they're sitting on their hands and not hiring. So the biggest uh, things on our radar, as I said, earnings. But uh, just as important, uh, we have a two-day Fed meeting uh, coming up. And there's some international events I'll be taking a look at as well. We have a Bank of Japan uh, meeting and uh, Governor Kuroda uh, and Prime Minister Abe with his Abenomics, maybe get a sense of, uh, of how they're doing uh, and some other uh, data coming out uh, around the world that I'll be taking a look at. But mainly focused here uh, in the United States, we have a two-day Fed meeting. Now, for a while there, we were talking about what? A potential oct taper. The Fed had the opportunity back in June when the entire market expected them uh, to taper, and they didn't. Uh, so, first of all, that's bad news, right? You know, when the drunks in the bar see the sun coming up and say, wow, we got to get out of here, and the bartender closing the blind saying, no, 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 don't worry about it. Here's some more liquidity for you. You know, that's bad. Um, but it's also bad because that means the Fed's looking at numbers that we're looking at as well and saying, yeah, we can't go anywhere anytime soon. And as we talked about, there's no plan B. The Fed can only keep what it's doing or increase what it's doing. They think that if they stop what they're doing, we're going to implode, which is never a, uh, a good sign. So this economy really has to heal on its own, and it's not going to do it under the current administration uh, and their policies, period. So we'll move, uh, as, as you can see on the S&P 500 here, we'll melt up. Uh, we're going to keep on melting up. You know, I, I might sound like perma bear and, and the world's going to end tomorrow, and it pretty much should if the Fed and uh, central banks around the world weren't interfering with capitalism, but it's not because they are. So you can't fight the Fed and you can't fight the tape. So I just put out a bull put spread to my primary trade alert traders over at Topkin Options on the S&P at the November because we're going to melt up. You can't fight $85 billion a month in hell. Instead of an oct taper this week, the Fed might even come out with a surprise, hey, we're adding some money to it. You know, they surprised us last time, uh, so uh, you never know. Really nothing on the radar uh, today here in the United States. We have some pending home sales at uh, 10 Tuesday. Uh, core retail sales, and whenever you see the word uh, core, it means X something. So tomorrow would be X autos. So we'll see how the retailers are doing. Some inflation data with PPI, then re retail sales. Uh, that that'll be an interesting number. See how the consumers are fail, uh, f faring. I almost said failing. 
and that would have been funny because it's a Freudian slip. Uh, the S&P K. Schiller uh, 20 City Composite Index, see uh, some of the housing, and then the Conference Board's Consumer Confidence number. That's a uh, that's a potential market moving number. I'll be looking at business inventories uh, as well. Wednesday ADP non farm payroll. Remember because of the government shutdown and the weirdness. Well, who cares about what ADP has to say this week? We already got the unemployment rate uh, last week. Some more inflation numbers tomorrow. That FOMC statement. Hey, the federal funds rate. I wonder what that's going to be. Uh, you know, talk to somebody at a cocktail party who has no idea what they're talking about and say, hey, let's bet on what the federal funds rate is going to be. See if you can earn some uh, some cheap money. But we'll be looking at, across the sea on uh, Thursday across the pond over to Europe. A lot of uh, numbers coming out of Europe this week to see the strength of the European economy and see if their Ben Bernanke, Mario Draghi has to come out and uh, say anything to uh, calm the market. Chicago PMI, so taking a look at Midwest manufacturing, employment, economic conditions. And then Friday, we'll see some uh, manufacturing PMI. That's a potential uh, market moving number along with ISMs, Institute Supply Management, Manufacturing PMI, and prices, and maybe even a total vehicle sales. Remember, total vehicle sales were going through the roof for the past couple months. Eh. Uh, I think we might see uh, vehicle sales cooling off here. So kind of a, kind of a big week with earnings uh, and the Fed. But uh, again, since there's nothing really ginormous going on in the market, oh, except uh, Israel thinks Iran's going to have a nuclear weapon here in a couple weeks and might attack them. Other than that, Ms. Lincoln, how's the play? So as uh, Israel rushes towards Iran's got a bomb and uh, we're probably going to attack them, the Obama administration wants to sit down at a table and have some coffee with them and uh, and talk. So uh, again, as my top gun options traders know, the market only cares when we care about something like that. And you better start caring because uh, if one day you wake up and on Fox News you see Israeli F-16s and Strike Eagles landing, um, the futures will be down about a thousand points and the VIX will be up at 50. And we'll be ready for that because we have those type of trades on. Okay, got to run. Got to get ready for our uh, weekly options live trade brief over at Topkin Options. If you want to get into some of our live trade briefing services, give our 888 number a call or email us at customer support, and you can set up a trader evaluation with one of our uh, mentors who can find one of the uh, right live trading services for you here at Wealth Creation Investing or at Topkin Options. Okay, happy hunting. Make sure you hedge. Have a great week, and check over at topkinoptions.com for our sit rep tomorrow morning. We'll see you.